okay i'm here at another wine tasting i don't know why i'm so attracted to these wine tastings but i've checked into my room and then i'm wanting to get out and do something so this is the like right down from my room this layout is the best layout okay they are making this one better this is how all of them should look they should look like a look like art you know if it's gonna be a wine tasting it should look like art and it should be a place where you can sit down taste the wine and give your opinion on the wine it shouldn't be like one of those my first stop was one of those uh stores you just stop in and taste the wine and then no it should it be event and they are making this i don't think they're done yet i heard her say that they bought this from somebody but they're making it an event space and that's what it should be so they have this is huge it is an actual museum prohibition items alcohol making items and it's something to do you know something to see it's an event space that's what it should be the wine tasting event space But you think like, who knew to create something like this? I guess like the taste, it just kept getting better. I don't know. This will make it better if you heat it up to this temperature. This will make it better. But on a side note, the people who make alcohol in prisons that I heard, they just sit fruit aside and let it ferment and they drink it like alcohol and i'm thinking the first ever winemakers i wasn't there i'm not sure but i'm pretty sure they probably was trying to save some fruit and it ended up fermenting and they ended up making wine they probably didn't know they were making wine but someone had the bright idea to start steaming off the this top and reducing this and capturing this and this is the perfect taste and so you have it the wine museum then they want to store so much wine store it in steel oh it's good oh no store it in wood oh that's even better you know what copper brings out the best taste <laughs> So here you have all these ideas about wine. And I think for myself, it's probably the first option. Take that fruit and just let it sit. Like the, the basicness of it all, you know? The basicness of it all. So this is very nice whoever created this space has good taste sweetness scale dry and then it goes bubble bath thin this is everything they have that we tried to sweet and we that's how we went we went from dry to sweet Now, I, I was in a wine tasting room, and so we it wasn't that many people there. This is like a Wednesday, June 22nd, 2022. I guess it's not a weekend, so it's not that many visitors. So that wine tasting room was not open. This looks like they are opening more wine tasting rooms. That looks like it's going to be, okay, it's not finished. So... <clears throat> And the deeper I go in this hallway, the creepier it gets. So I'm going to skedaddle. I'm going to get up out of here. <laughs> and get up out of this portion of it. They should have a stop sign right here, though. So people won't go down this route. This space is basically empty. I'm thinking, you know, probably because of COVID. 
the military retirees aren't here. The locals aren't here. So, this space, I don't know if it's going to succeed or not. But they have the best vision thus far. It's so open and it's spacious. But they only have wine. They don't have any cheeses. So, I guess gradually... They'll probably get cheeses. I'm not sure. But anyway, there's no cheeses here. It's just wine. And it's Chardonnay wine. And I'm getting ready for my sample of Chardonnay wine. I'm waiting for 10 to 15 minutes. But it didn't take that long. But she told me this would be my drinks that I would get. Everything that's checked. Everything they have in stock. You would taste everything. Now, they give you this paper so you can make notes on it. Tasting notes. Which is neat. They went all out for the wine tasting. This is the very first one that I've been to that they've actually went all out for the wine tasting. Okay, so we got a few more people. Now we're in the wine tasting room. I'm gonna do a little swirl and then sip. And then, ill, dry. My first sip was dry, it was bitter, and I'm like more of a sweet girl. I don't know wine, I don't know what's best for you. All I know is, I just learned something new about me today and wine tasting is that I don't like Chardonnay. Chardonnay wine is not for me. Okay. I'm like, uh, no, uh, no. Uh, even the sweet one was still a dry sweet. Anybody in here like the dry? No. Okay. That's my truck. I don't know why, but they have a bunch of wine tastings here. But this is my last wine tasting. Okay. So they give you a piece of paper so you can take notes on the wine. Now, this was Chardonnay. So... The laughing to you, Pinot Grigio, it was dry. The cheat day was dry. The bubbly bath zen was dry, but it had a little bitter, a little bit like sweet. It was a little bit better than those two. The three day weekend white was dry. Uh, the hammock nap was a little bit better, but no, because it was a little sweet. Um, the movie marathon was okay, but I just learned I don't like Chardonnays, okay? And the bestie brunch was a fizzy soda soda ish type. The Concord grape was just like the rest of it, all dry. But they had like a cute display and a nice building and nice history museum type thing. I did leave her a $2 tip, but uh, she gave us the pink Catawaba. It was sweet, but it wasn't... I'm not a Chardonnay girl, I just learned. And the Bubba Reds, no. So, yeah, my wine tasting is over for this vacation period. And I've just learned that I am not a Chardonnay girl.